We want to tell the world that the revolution we're having right now is peaceful and uh, we, are, we are organized and we have methodology and we learn from the history that only when Taiwanese people unite can there be an independent sovereign state. And this is happening if you uh, paid attention to some of the sunflower movement. We believe that the next movement will be a nation building uh, movement uh, and so Taiwan become a sovereign state that can also allow us to be uh, part of the UN uh, member. So um, this is uh, Professor Liang from Chenggong University. He studied in Oxford uh, University in uh, Britain and got uh, what was that a PhD yeah, okay, in politics. In, in politics. Uh, we we were inviting him to um, explain to you why. Okay, in those two years, in these two years, uh, it's it's now uh, January twenty second, uh, two thousand fifteen. Uh, why in the coming two years uh, is an important phase for us? Yeah, we need to build a genuinely independent sovereign state in Taiwan. This is the best way to resist communist influence. Very, very bad and evil communist influence. And it's also the best way to defend one of the most advanced democracies in Asia. And as we know, uh, China is prohibiting everything related to freedom of speech, freedom of press. And Taiwan is one of the most uh, free countries in Asia, okay, in terms of even press freedom, etc., uh, etc., et even under communist influence. But we are very sad about the situation is going to get, in, to get worse. And we have to stand up and defend Taiwan's democracy. To maintain our democracy and to make it healthy is in the benefit of the whole world, not just Asia. And we could demonstrate that we could do better than many or most of other countries. If we can do so, then it will serve a, a, a good cause for the whole future of the world. Under the threat of the Communist China, which is uh, getting more and more uh, imminent, we need to show to the whole world the common view of our Taiwanese people is to establish a new government through a peaceful way. And and this is what we are trying to do and to arouse people's interests and to let them, let them know the threat from China. At the same time, um, as, as most of you know now that ISIS is a threat uh, to democratic countries and China is a threat to democracy and Russia is uh, invading uh, Ukraine. Uh, well, even after the fact that they uh, had a, ce uh, a ceasefire between Ukraine and Russia, they are still fighting. So uh, Ch uh, Taiwan can act as a, a peace peaceful example that if we are 
moving the independence movement forward with uh, people power, um, uh, then uh, it will, I believe, um, be a very good um, inspiration to uh, all democracies in the world. Um, but at the same time, realistically, we want to understand what China is doing um, to Taiwan uh, and also the uh, neighboring countries. Okay. Why is it a, why is it a threat? Okay, China is an imperial power uh, in disguise. Right, uh, under the notion like a, a peaceful rise of China. As uh, you may all know, uh, the so-called Confucian Institute, right, all over the world, they are actually not a kind of cultural stuff or cultural institute. They are actually spying, a spying agents. And, uh, and, and in the name of uh, uh, teaching Chinese or bringing Chinese culture uh, known to the world. So that's why uh, uh, some countries realize that the so-called Confucian Institute is actually a threat right, to, to the West. And so Chinese people are very cunning. Okay, they want to do something that you think they are not doing. And that's why Taiwan is under serious threat because thousands of people have, uh, from, from China have come to Taiwan to do something uh, we, 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 we actually uh, are very concerned about. Like uh, there might be some uh, 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 there's obviously spies and uh, and uh, actually maybe some military persons. You try they, they try to uh, overstay. Uh, uh, yeah, have yeah. A, have a good look of uh, the current situation of Taiwan, and they are, they will plan a military invasion, right, uh, of Taiwan. And since our president. Uh, just seems they he seems doesn't care about what's happening, or he actually uh, pretends uh, he doesn't know. But actually, we all know that uh, uh, the current government uh, actually has a. They're all actually. Yeah, a good I, I heard actually they are opening door like doors to the sm smugglers um, who um, secretly smuggle uh, agricultural pr produce, and uh, there are also conspiracies. I believe there are because um, there are examples who were caught that they trying to smuggle weapons to Taiwan. Um, so we not only have um, ideological um, dangers, but at the same time, uh, pragmatically uh, or materialistically, uh, things are happening. We are being invaded. And that's why uh, we want to speak to the world uh, from now on in many ways to show our determination um, yeah so if yeah if if the common view of Taiwanese people is shown to the world and we hope uh, people all over the world will support us like they support uh, the Egyptian people right and the uh, the they support the, the yeah, Ukrainian uh, uh, yeah, people's uprising against the uh, uh, of Rotarian regimes, and we are actually fighting against not our current government, but 
a government which collaborates with the communist totalitarian regimes. Mm -hmm. So we need to defend our own country and fight for independence as soon as possible. Okay. So, okay, we uh, just got uh, notice that we are running out of time videotaping this. So, uh, we will continue speaking and um, uh, hopefully that you can listen to us and support us and um, maybe fight with us and become alliance with uh, Taiwanese people who yearn for uh, freedom and, um, and yearn to be friends with real democracies. Okay? Uh, thank you for uh, watching and listening. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you.